How's it going, Rams? My name is Leah Kukowski, back once again as your Thursday night sports anchor. And well, tonight, for the first time all semester, I'll give you a deep dive into the world of Colorado State men's golf and how they've been showing out on the green all season. So let's jump right into the action. As some of you golf enthusiasts here on campus may know, the Rams competed in the Western Intercollegiate Tournament over the past few days. But before I give you a rundown of the results in that one that just finished up play yesterday, let's first take a look at some of the top performers and storylines from this squad over the course of the last calendar year or so. Starting things off in the fall where the leaves turn orange and yellow and the weather starts to get chillier and chillier, the Rams came back from their summer off in style, earning back-to-back -back dubs at the Rams Masters Invitational, not to mention the Paintbrush Invitational down at DU. Still though, while they started off hot when the weather was still warm outside, things took a turn for the worst come middle of the fall season, not placing above 8th place in any matchup until just last week in the Wyoming Cowboy Classic, where they finally bounced back to earn a 3rd place finish against other Mountain West programs like San Diego State, Wyoming, and UNLV. So yes, while the green and gold did take a, let's just say, hefty three-month break from competing after November got into full swing, meaning they had way less opportunities to make up for this rough streak they were on, it's pretty clear to see that CSU men's golf still had a long period of minimal success. But hey, in any case, a credit to these guys for continuing to fight and for picking themselves off the mat when they needed it the most. This solid performance out in Laramie wasn't by accident either. The green and gold definitely had some key guys there to lead them to success. Some of our best players of the season have showed up and shown out as we've seen, but definitely had their best weekend at the recent Wyoming Cowboy Classic. For starters, senior Davis Bryant has had a solid final year as a Ram, and he's still even fresh off of his best performance of the year, where he put an amazing eight strokes under par performance. And moving right along, Connor Jones went a whopping 12 under par for the weekend. And last certainly but not least, soft, sophomore Rasmus Elm has been really strong too as of late, going two under up in Wyoming. But with, it, with enough of the, with the individual honors, let's talk about the 75th annual Western Intercollegiate Tournament that just finished up yesterday down in Santa Cruz. The Rams competed against schools from the area like Pepperdine, San Jose State, and in addition to squads like Washington, Stanford, and most importantly of all, nationally ranked number nine Texas, who, as expected, ended up taking the team dub for the meet, putting up a plus 25 overall score for the week. And when you compare this to how the Rams did, it was, let's just say, a major difference, with the green and gold finishing things off at eighth place at a plus 67 overall mark, partly thanks to falling short and struggling to perform when it mattered the most, on, of course, their last day out on the green. They sat at sixth place entering yesterday, but like they've seemed to do a lot over the past few months, they took a clear dip in the rankings, going 15 over par. However, it wasn't all bad for CSU. They still had some standouts in Cali, most notably, Rasmus Elm, who, as I told you at the top, competed really hard against 10 players ranked in the top 100 nationally to earn the runners-up spot at the individual level. Thanks to an over 73 mark for the final round and two over 212 score for the entire tournament, putting him only three shots behind highly ranked Dylan Minute of Pepperdine, and all combining to lead the best performance of his career up to this point. Man, what an impressive performance. So, after all that, it's pretty clear to see that the Rams have certainly had their ups and their downs throughout the year. Not to mention that they definitely have a lot to prove as they enter this final stretch of the spring, which obviously includes the Mountain West Tournament in a few weeks and as well as the NCAA Tourney in late May. And looking at what they have coming up next, the Green and Gold will travel out to Utah next week for the BYU Classic down in Provo next Friday and Saturday. So we'll just have to see how everything shakes out and if this team could finish out the year like they want to. 
And with that, Rams, that is all the sports action I have for you tonight. Be sure to tune in on Monday for another edition of Monday Night Sports. Stay safe, have a wonderful weekend, and we'll see you then.